Hello and welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya and my co-host Ed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it is currently 40, but it feels like mine is fucking 30 because it is fucking cold out. Anyway, and as you can see, I'm getting stuffed up again. Hello, Liz. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be a high of 51 and sunny. Oh, it's gonna be 60. No, some kind of bitch lied to me on the radio. See that? So we have some really hello, Joe. Uh, we have some really interesting things to talk about this hello, evening. Joe. Um, <clears throat> am I on? I guess I'm on. Can yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Nice. So, uh, yeah, we just happened to stumble across a uh, what? Hello, Anthony. Uh, hello, Anthony. We just happened, or I happened to, because things pop in my head, and I put it in. <laughs> so, I'm a sick fuck. <laughs> this is my mentor. <laughs> and I just happened to put in the search bar a few things about fruits and vegetables. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just say the stuff we're going to be discussing this evening it's fucking hysterical. Okay, he was over here practically pissing his pants reading these articles that he's going to be talking about. So, hello, <clears throat> Diane. Hello, Diane. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty freaking funny. Okay, now I'm going to start off. Does anybody know what jerp is? Would you like to spell it, please? J E R P. P jerp. as in Paul. Yes. Does anyone know what jerk is? I think it's Not da, da, da. jerk for Paul. <laughs> okay, we can use that. So, mm, mm, mm. Paulie. Do you really have to? Oh, not that kind of jerk. I mean, you It's you, a jerk. You, you a jerk, Paul. With a, with a so, piece. when you say it fast, jerk. Jerk all. Uh, what is this? No, remind me. When does this is Oh, yeah, what the hell? Some pop up shit right there. Yeah, so anyway. Um, <clears throat> off. Off? What's off? What do you mean? Are we off? Um, it says I'm on. <laughs> Somebody tell us if you can see us or not. Yeah. Hear us or not. Before I. She just had a pop up, but it looks like it's still going. Yes. So, um, and does anyone know what jerp is? Anyone? Don't be looking that shit up. Don't cheat. That's, That's my right. job. That's right. No cheating. That's my job. So, um, unless he's saying jerk off. Oh, jerk off. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I just, yeah. <laughs> As you said that, it hit me. Yes. But it's <clears throat> J-E-R-P. Thank you, Liz. Yes, J-E-R-P as in He palm. means jerk off. Yes. But it's jerk. So now, for those of you who don't know what jerping is, thank you. Uh, jerp is the act of having sex with fruit, vegetables, or small women who look like fruit. Now that's funny right there. Just in case you didn't know what that was. Hello. Jeff Lisa. off. Hello, Lisa. Jeff <laughs> off. <laughs> JD. JD in the house. Where? I don't see JD. Well, that's JD. Is Jeff? Where? She's oh, saying Lisa. Jeff oh, 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 oh. So okay. I think she's playing on J. Okay. That is his name, right, Jeff? <laughs> okay. So yes. Ooh. So. <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know what jerp is, J E R P, it is the act of having sex with fruits, vegetables, or small women who look like fruit. Got to get you that, Lisa. I'll reach out to you tonight. So, um, jerk chicken. I like jerk chicken, actually. Go fuck a melon. Anyway. Ah, see, I was right. I picked up on that. Very well done, Ms. Lisa. <laughs> see, I'm, hold on. This what? Fucking thing. Hold on. Because I'm missing all the shit. He will be soon. <laughs> 
Okay. My so, my phone is in repair mode right now, so all my like messenger and all that, I never reloaded on this one, yes. thinking I'd have it back to yesterday or today. Okay. So now, after reading about Jerp, um, I wanted to, there was a uh, like a forum type thing where people who have fetishes or fruit go. Well, there was this one thing that this guy had written and I figured it that everyone needed to hear this because this is um mm -hmm. it's it's quite interesting. Okay, so I'm going to read to you his own words and then I'm gonna to read to you some replies that were given to him. So uh <clears throat> yeah. Uh okay, so now he says, I am sexually attracted to certain fruits and vegetables. I can only get it up when I am fantasizing about them gently rubbing or, or about gently rubbing lime with maybe a little pepper on the underside of my ball sack. Okay. Here's someone who likes adventure. Exactly. Now it goes on to say, women don't do it for me anymore. I have of course not. He has to do that himself. Exactly. I wouldn't do that for him either. He says, I have punctured oranges and watermelons with my penis, and I am afraid that I have violated some kind of fruit trust between myself and the selection of fruits and vegetables. Uh, perhaps they know. He's acting like the fruits and vegetables know when he goes to pick them out that it's because they all want, start to roll around and try to hide. He wants to have sex with them. <coughs> okay. And then he says, I can't look people in the eyes because I feel like they know I am a dirty fruit fucker. Hold on. Um, Continued on back. Yes. I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm serious and I need help. Now this was, that's what he wrote. Now, in reply to what he wrote, okay, Lordy, somebody wrote back, fruits and vegetables, unlike people, can't break your heart or get mad at you. So apparently, that's another fruit fucker, or jerk, or jerk. Jerk. He's a jerk. <laughs> now, this next one, oh, here we go. Hold on. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. I want to know where my t-shirt is. Yeah. It's right here next to me. Because <laughs> it's sitting underneath the box that was put on top of it, and it's been out of sight, therefore out of mind. So it just popped into my head. So. Uh, Hello, April. Hello, Paul. Um, Hello, Paul. April. So did you know about jerp, what, what jerping is? J.D.? They hung up. Oh no, it's. I guess in that accept. Okay. Hello? Don't speak or put it down. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the first thing we heard. Hello? It's on speaker, put it down. <laughs> we, Hi, you, Edwin. Hello? We, we were on the phone with him, and then suddenly. He dropped. He, he was kind of gone, but we were still active. And then we heard a beep coming, Hello, like another phone call. Yeah. Hello, Robin. That was my fault. Okay. Hello, now, Robin. now, did you know what jerping is? Do you know what jerping is? No, I don't. <laughs> this is... Lisa said it was jeffing off. Yes. Well, see, no, jerping, <laughs> jerping, hold on. The technical term for it yeah here's a technical term. the technical term for it is jerk the act of having sex with fruits vegetables or small women who look like fruit i do not look like a fruit well, <laughs> no that last part is my favorite <laughs> i'm gonna go look for someone who looks like a pineapple now. i mean seriously like where do they come up with this shit i mean seriously come on exactly yes so uh, this is, I mean, wait till you hear the stuff that Ed's going to be talking about or reading. Because he was about pissing his pants sitting here reading through yeah, it was some of the hilarious. stuff. Oh, God, it's not going to be too long, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Let me tell you something. Mine my attention is, span is only so long. <laughs> my, mine is always long. Oh, good oh for you. my God. <laughs> except, except when I had tits, like Monday night. <laughs> and your nipples were long. They yes, were, he, had, he had quite the set of nipples, didn't Tanya he? Tanya was very jealous of my nipples. He had some serious nipples going. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, look, I got a haircut. Oh, look. Yes, he did get a haircut today. He got his hair done. Look at that. Up above or down below? <laughs> oh, maybe both. How do we know? America. And don't you dare. To... Don't you dare. I do not want to see that shit. Put it away. Put it away. I don't want to see it. Oh, ooh, watch it, watch it. Don't he, you, he better not be. Put it, put it away. Oh, all right, all right, I'm putting the boat back on. God damn it, I'll just I don't want to see and, that I'll just shit. and yank one. Oh, wait, I can't. They laser burned them off. They, they, lit, a, they lit a blowtorch and burned them off. I, I don't want to be seeing that shit. So, you know, somebody wants to go down there and find out. You can let me know what's going on there. Damn, this but, is like. What kinds of pineapple girlfriend? This is brutality territory right here, I tell you. Brutality. Brutality. That's right. Totality of brutality. But I think he likes it. That's 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 the sick part. So he needs an abusive girlfriend. Yeah, I've had one of those. Um so where were we? Well, Robin's here. Robin's here and the sh well shit the bed, Fred. I'm here. Hi, Robin. Shenan shenanigans begin. Uh, shenanigans. 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 So Lisa says hello, Robin. So yes, so yeah, we're tonight's topic is about jerping or jerp or and similar offshoots or yes. jacking off. Yes. Exactly. Now this next it part, makes it, it it gives it a little bit of a flavor. Okay, so pun intended. Now one of these other replies from this guy that I was reading about. Okay, now this kind of really made my stomach churn. This other guy says, "This is how I feel about dogs, but I prefer to have them as a platonic companion." You're fucking sick, dude. Oh my god. You're fucking we sick. Hang up now. <laughs> yeah. Think about Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jeffrey and Lisa. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> so, okay. So, yes. I mean, seriously, don't ever touch an animal. You want to fuck a fruit, have at it, okay? Do what you want with the fruit and the vegetables and whatever, okay? But don't touch the animals. Just don't. It's just wrong. It's disgusting. No. So then this other guy says, dude, check out figging. So Ed Gina here has mm -hmm. checked out figging. So he's going to fill you in on what exactly figging is. Okay. Well. Do tell. Learn about this botanical butt plug. <laughs> figging. It's not something you do to salads or stir fries. It's more intimate and torturous. Figging is the practice of inserting a piece of raw, peeled ginger into the anus, which then causes an intense burning or stinging sensation as the oils and juices seep out of the ginger, not of your anus. <laughs> Why would anyone do this? So, historically, this was actually a punishment Back in Greek days, they punished female prisoners by inserting this into their anus and or vagina. Okay. When they found out they moaned in pleasure, they stopped and began doing it to themselves. That is how it started. <clears throat> okay, April. Uh, huh? No, go ahead. Oh. Continue. Uh, the word itself comes from the word, if I pronounce this correctly, figuring, where... Horse riders or breeders would insert an irritant, ginger, onions, hot pepper, into the rectum of a horse. It would cause the horse's tail to rise up, and apparently that works to show the horse off better at shows, 
uh, or make an older one seem younger and more lively if they were trying to sell it. So apparently this got so bad at horse shows that the industry show, organize, uh, show organizers banned the practice and created the position of ginger swabbers. And I couldn't say that word before because I was laughing every time I tried. Uh, and guess what their job was? I guess this way every horse got an equal amount of ginger. So it was, it kept the competition <laughs> fair. Oh my God. So, uh, <clears throat> you peel the, uh, ginger and you basically insert, they say, you know, use water as a lubricant because if you use actual lubricant, it deadens the sensation of the oils. Sometimes if you're with a BDSM person, they will spank you, which takes your mind off the stinging acid that's coming into your anus. <laughs> Uh, some people it doesn't bother as much. It's just like tingling. Others, it Hold causes it. problems. I'm wondering now the people who do the rotting, do they use ginger on that as well? Uh, it would be absolutely out of this world. Painful. I can't even imagine. <laughs> First of all, you'd have to <laughs> cut a piece of ginger that was this big or maybe do the rotting with a hollow rod and then put the ginger in and then pull the rod out. But I'm just, just saying, like the these people who like, if you're, if you're going to be sticking something up your penis, Ouch. okay, <coughs> excuse me, that is going to be painful as it is. Okay. I don't care who you are. If you are trying to expand your happy hole, okay. And you're going through all these practices, then why wouldn't you put ginger up there too? I'm just, I'm curious. I want to know. I don't know. I, I'm sure they that Why people don't... do this shit. Oh, uh, Joe, my choice is not a cucumber, actually, because um, it's got no oils that sting. Okay, now, which brings me to, hold on, okay, is that there was also this article on tips for organic masturbation for both women and men. <laughs> and that's basically how women use carrots, cucumbers, zucchini, anything long that they're going to stick up their vajiji. Um, you know, and men, the watermelons, the honeydews, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it basically breaks it down on how you can get the most sensation out of fucking a vegetable. Hmm. <clears throat> which is wrong. Just say. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, there are certain things you don't do, and... I would have to say fucking vegetables would be one of them. But anyway, continue on. So, with... Anthony, you don't like the hat? It's a <laughs> strawberry, I think, No, right? it's watermelon. I'm sorry, watermelon. What am I saying strawberry for? It's watermelon. Let's see. Uh, so, the chemical burns that some people are afraid of with this, uh, there's been no studies that this author can find <laughs> that... Robin... <laughs> Fuck that, I'm out. You're sticking anything into my hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are going to wax their carrot, Anthony. Uh, actually, some people literally do wax their carrot. The hot candles thing, the, the, yeah, that's, uh, ew, ew, I can't even, you know, and then how do you get it off? You got to melt it off. So you're getting burned twice. Not if you want the hair removed. Bye. <laughs> That's why you're the brains in this <laughs> So ginger is natural. So there's no <clears throat> chemical burns. It's the same burning you would feel if you ate ginger raw or same as a hot pepper. Don't even go there about hot peppers in the anus or the pee hole. That <laughs> fucking shit, I quit right no, now. No, those fucking peppers you got. I will hang my all Hello. those fucking things. I just touched it and put it on my tongue and literally I was like. <laughs> so what did I do? Hmm. He I said, a... let me pick it up. It's a little tiny. It's like a half inch, and it was only this much left. And I'm like, I took a, a little bite of part of it. I'm like, eh, too bad. And so I turned it and bit a little more. I took a third bite, and she's like, oh, how's it doing that? I'm like, it's not that bad. Give it a second. Sure enough, I'm like, okay. Where are you going? I'm getting water. I drink water. That didn't help. I'm supposed to drink milk. I went in and got my gallon of milk. Just took the lid off. Started drinking right from the gallon. I'm like, what the? F 20 minutes. This thing was literally 
burning my throat <laughs> on fire. And it felt like the, I, I, I got an ice cube. I stuck an ice cube in my mouth because I figured if I could deaden my nerves, at least I wouldn't feel it. That worked a little bit. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, oh, you thought you were a tough guy. I'm like, no, oh, I'm a pussy. I'm done for your pussy. Make it stop. Please make it stop. What's the antidote? Okay. Anyway, read that article. You, you, you've got to get into that article uh, where you oh, were the, pissing your pants. The yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Well, Wait. let's see. Uh, well, and to finish the old... Uh, figging? Uh, figging, yes. The real, the real danger with this is if you carve this thing too small and you put it up there because what happens is as the tingling starts your muscles contract and as your anus squeezes this more of the oils and juices come out which makes the burning happen so if you do this and the thing is too small and you don't have an ample length or base to it like you know like this <laughs> You can't get it out. Now it gets stuck up there. Now it's burning you for hours, and you got to go to the hospital to go <laughs> and explain why there's ginger <laughs> up there. You might rather sit at home and just burn while it disintegrates in your ass for five days. <laughs> uh, so you must choose like a finger. There's some pretty neat carvings in this thing. That thing actually looks like a dildo right there. Yeah, um, it does, actually. Insertion must be slow. So... Um, you can look that up if you'd like to learn a little more about that. Okay, April's back. Uh, nice, Anthony. The only hot thing he's putting his pecker in is a hot cooch. Nice. All right, so. Okay, now, come on. Yeah, you, you have to get into this. This is you were, uh, an he was, article. He was pissing his pants over this article. So you have got, I, I don't even know what it says. I sent it to him. And she saw the beginning and the picture and just said, all right, I'm, I'm sending this to you. Because, you know, on this show, I do the heavy lifting. She comes up with the subject. She's the genius. And then she sends me the goods and go, all right, I came up with the idea for a you store. Now you need to build the store and stock it and work it. Exactly. And I'll just count our money. Exactly. And I'll give you an allowance, maybe. So, naturally, I just saw the article head like, Googled it. Hey, put this in. I was a teenage fruit <laughs> fucker while you're listening. And you look at the photo of this kid. I swear that's his dick coming out his backside. Even though his hand, he's holding a, he's holding, actually he's holding a, he's holding a, a JJ in a jar. And his hand is down like this. So you think he's jerking off. But apparently, I swear that it's either that or it looks like a sock. That's very weirdly shaped. And he's got, there's fluids, there's bananas, there's banana peels, watermelon, oranges, uh, a do-it-yourself book with a pair of tits on it, I see. <laughs> All sorts of things in here. Different ways to come around to <laughs> happiness. With fruit. <laughs> For years, I improvised physical intimacy with inanimate do-it-yourself objects. Surgical gloves wrapped in a towel. Yeah, that's weird. So, um, yeah, this guy, he said he used to watch a lot of porn. And no, Lisa, this is not me that wrote this as anonymous. Because <laughs> if it is, I would have read this back in, like, March and said it was me. Uh, <clears throat> so this guy actually was a, pretty much a stud. He watched way too much porn. It got to the point where he was beating off five times a day. Wow. So at a certain point, hand is not enough. You need something else. Most of us move on to actual real people. Oh, maybe I'll just go on a date, have dinner, a movie, and then fuck. No, this guy said, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Im improvising a fuck buddy is not a new thing. But there's no information on just how popular do-it-yourself sex toys are. Fleshlight type objects or sleeves is what they're referred to in the industry. Your vagina. Yes, exactly. Um, is all this kid was really into. <clears throat> so he said, you go to YouTube and Vimeo, there's endless guides and videos on how to assemble 
assemble a variety of MacGyver-like objects to get yourself off. Uh, there were a number of obstacles to his plan. First, he wanted a, what he wanted was a mass-produced vagina. What you have? Uh, to, Go, just whoa, continue. Wait, you better it. look at some of those things right there. <clears throat> You're not doing my job very well. Well, get over there and fucking. Okay. Uh, so there was a number of obstacles to his plan. Remember, he's a teenage boy. The first of which was at the time he had neither a credit card nor the money to order one. Even if I convince my parents to let me use their visa in exchange for some allowance money, this is the first time I pissed my pants laughing, I was worried they'd get their monthly statement only to find pocket pussy five thousand sixty nine ninety nine next to their grocery getaway order. Uh, honey, did you order this? What is this pocket pussy? Another problem was the actual arrival of the thing at my doorstep. I'd probably be at school, and my mom would be most likely the first soul to lay eyes on this. And the idea of her unwrapping this package, only to find a mechanical vagina that looked like it could suck the dimples off a golf ball, seemed much worse than your usual, my parents walked in on me when I was... <laughs> yeah, I think he's right about that. So, he found... So, hold on. Yes. Did your parents walk in on you stroking your monkey? No. Okay, just checking. No, my, my daddy died, so. No, but still, it doesn't matter. Did your he, mom walk in on you? No. Okay. No one walked in on me. <laughs> because I never did it. Yeah, right. Okay. I was really good at hiding. <laughs> okay, continue. So the uh, he YouTubed homemade pocket pussy. Which, he's very happy to say, is still online today. I will be looking that up <laughs> a little later while she's talking about something, just to make sure it still is. So he had to Frankenstein his own creation. It described in three minutes how he could duct tape, heat up, and decor a banana into a tunnel of temporary love. At 99 cents a pound, this was economically the best option. That's roughly 12 cents per fuck. I guess he got eight fucks out of it. The numbers guy. Rain man. Uh, and my parents would never second guess why there was a shortage of bananas in the house or why I happened to be on a sudden kick for potassium. <laughs> the downside to this was the mess. Excess <laughs> remaining banana goop and sugary starch would stick to my legs or drip onto the floor. After you bust in the banana peel... That gut-churning feeling of shame that follows after beating off triples in size. Hmm. How to make your own lube with potatoes. Here we go. This is another little do-it-yourself <laughs> video. That's not... I, I, we're going to be watching this shit and talking about it either Friday or later tonight. So he dabbled in a number, almost a dozen of different things. And uh, some are better than or other. Oh, heated up watermelon, by the way, apparently sucks because... The hard service makes it difficult to do thrusts without seeming to injure. Um, <clears throat> okay. That's just, you know, but hey, whatever you want. Uh, you have to then put it on a piece of um, furniture for support right. or hold it. And since he was a weak-ass teenager, that wasn't an option. Hmm. Then you can make... Uh, this, a cock sleeve via a complex molding process, like a video he linked to. This shit, in his opinion, is way over the top. And <laughs> it's just done by jerking off enthusiasts. Because if you have the skill, willpower, money, and resources to pull that thing off, you should just go buy a motorized tango. Which I then looked up. <laughs> That's also fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yes, I will be discussing that. <laughs> the best thing he found after the banana was the use of a rubber surgical glove <laughs> stuffed inside a tightly wrapped towel, popularized in prison and dubbed a Fifi. Nice, I did not know that. This is fantastic and way less shameful than wiping post-climax banana pulp and splooge from your thighs. That's a visual that I'll give everyone a minute to think about it. No. While I... <laughs> <laughs> fucking nasty. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even 
want to. Ah, uh, when you're done, you just throw the glove away, and there you go. The only downside is trying to explain what you're doing, humping that brand new towel your mom just bought at Macy's when she eventually does walk in on you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. So I guess he's been walked in on many times. Well, apparently he but, has. But see, you would think that if you walk in on your child doing that, and you know he's, you would knock and be like, is it okay to come in? A lot of parents don't like their kids' doors locked. They like to be able to barge in to see what they're doing. What no. you doing in there, buddy? No. Knock. Hello. What are you doing? You know, can I come in? You know, no, not, it's not a good time right now. Okay, I'll come back. Actually, it's more like, no, it's not a good time right now. <laughs> so fucking wrong. Because if he's saying, no, it's not a good time right now, then he's not doing anything. <laughs> You're so if, no, uh, it's not a good time right now. <laughs> Just different ways of saying it that would indicate what's being done. Oh my God, you're so wrong. I am. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. What? What? What, what time is it? Oh. Edwin Splooge is like dust bunnies. <laughs> oh, wow. That's fucking. That's a Lisa wins comment of the night. Uh, um, okay, uh, what time is it? As much as Edwin's voice is like an aphrodisiac. <laughs> and then Z's. Oh, Anthony, thank you. There is a pocket pussy. He just checked in. Oh, my God. Well, Joe got it. Okay, it's time for a shot. Well. Oh, time for my shot. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, people. 703. Actually, it's... 701. Where's the one? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> lungs drowning. <laughs> Burning lungs. <laughs> I was trying to say, here's the bomb. <clears throat> I haven't done that in a few weeks. Oh, Lord. Of course, it goes down the wrong pipe. I can imagine what the anal ginger cavity thing goes on when I just got burned in my throat. <clears> okay. <throat> Lordy. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, second half. <clears throat> Fucking moron. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. When will I graduate to a double? You weren't on the show Monday, were you, Lisa? <laughs> I did about six shots of Jaeger. <clears throat> you did. Oh, Lord, I had to get that. <clears throat> Woo! Guess what, Ed Yes, yes, yes. Guess what, Ed is going to watch tonight after the show. <clears throat> oh, what do you think? They're married to house husbands, and they live in <laughs> New York's neighbor. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> you can continue. So... <clears throat> This guy also says uh, he's seen and heard it all. You know, live leak, porn hub, dude's fucking jello, packaged meat, anything and everything you can get your hands on. <clears throat> he said, we got the top of the food chain for a reason. Why use your calloused hand when you can invent other things? Uh, you could take six Boston cream donuts together and plunge your dick into them like Jim the pie fucker. Look, there's a link. And don't tell me to open it up because I've already done it. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, oh, that's the American Pie scene. That's all. That's a, that's what he linked to the apple pie, yeah. <clears throat> which was pretty damn funny. But we don't yeah, need to go into that. <clears throat> Let's see. Even uh, what irked him most about all this, even after he stopped trying to fuck pillows, mattresses with holes cut out of them, various pieces of food, and I and he finally lost his V card in high school, was the defensiveness and embarrassment my guy friends had. And we talked about the topic. Although they all later admitted that at some point in their lives they tried something other than their hand, I remember them laughing at me in disgust when I brought my fruit fucking escapade to our lunchtime gatherings. That said, they were high school guys, so I don't know what else they expected. <clears throat> That's pretty damn funny. So I hit the link to the, uh, what is it? Tenga. Tenga flip hole. 
Tenga is actually a Japanese product. <clears throat> and it, what is it? It means, uh, now this guy, is this guy, I think it is. Yeah, guy. John, oh, he put his name, John Biggs. He does reviews of sex toys. I want that job. I want to be paid to get off. <laughs> and not like I used to in the street corners in Newark. I'm talking like in an office <laughs> job, like this environment here, you know, uh -huh. where I don't have to be cold or whatever. <clears throat> It's a Japanese sex jar, or as they say in Japan, onaka. <clears throat> For men, you unpack it, open it up. Inside is a strangely shaped and knurled, knurled silicone with an opening at the bottom. It's clad in hard plastic, and those three knobs on the side allow you to change directions of this silicone finger-like things. It also has a fake hymen. Repeat. It has a fake <laughs> hymen. So you open this up, <clears throat> place a quantity of lubricant inside. Mild, Cool Ranch, and Wild are the styles that come with the product. And then close it. You then introduce your male member. Not this. Not this. Not these. That. Okay. For those who are really not sure, it looks like this. <laughs> Into the hole at the bottom, past the freaking fake hymen. <laughs> and manipulate the device, manipulate the device until issue. You then wash the thing out and go eat a candy bar from the box that your son's school is making you sell at the office. But since you work at home, you don't have an office, so you keep eating because your wife doesn't. This is what this guy does. His, his writing is fucking excellent. This is the shit I was laughing at. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I'm here to tell you this is what sex will be like when we're colonized by the machines, just like the Terminator. It's males will be giving these devices to produce genetic material. Okay. Sperm. Okay. <clears throat> Which will then be processed and pre-screened for genetic defects like free will that the robots don't want us to have. Right. The resulting, I love this, slurry will be sent to the female inseminating fields where the next generation of bio battery will be grown. Sweet, merciful share. I had sex with a jar. Uh, he got these on jlist.com. Hello, John. Hello, John. Um, $12 disposable model contains lubricant and was a one-time use device. Something I cannot condone considering carpet footprint of waxing the dolphin inside a plastic cup and then throwing it away reduce your plastic your carpet footprint people use the reusable devices wash them out get your jizz out of it and use it again don't fill up the landfills <clears throat> Ew. uh let's see oh he also said that uh when using the flip hole this is the original one he reviewed you want to use a lot of lubricant. It's a tight squeeze, even for men as poorly endowed as he is. <laughs> After all, he does have a master's degree in business journalism. Okay. The world is full of all kinds of people. There are some who sing, some who dance, some who make gourmet cookies, and there are people who make honor cups and people have sex with those honor cups. Now I know what kind of person I am, and I'm better for it. <laughs> His quote, not me. <laughs> Is it an amazing experience if you're alone and lonely and want to give Aunt Palm a rest? You know what? Yeah, it's a great time. Well, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, if you still have to use the cup, that means that you still have to hold the cup. You're still using your hands because you still have to manipulate it to do your... No, you don't. You just put the cup on and turn the dials and the dials do all the work. Really? It's like, like the lava. It's kind of like the lava lamp. Yes, you like. Okay. <clears throat> he found he enjoyed it more than the company of his fine lady wife, but that's just how, just how he butters his toast. Different strokes for different folks, uh, and he put a link on here of a video of different photos of the thing, and it got removed. So, I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, it's John the Demagogue. Hello. It was a... Uh, let's see. 
How does whoa 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 whoa? Uh, when does how does one get lice? You get lice from someone else. Who has you can get it sitting at a movie theater. You can get it in a bus. You can get it as long as somebody had it and they sat down and there's a horse. Uh, They're little bugs, they, right? Yes. Yeah. And they will go infest whatever it is, and you can get it. That's why I don't go to movie theaters because they're dirty. <laughs> I was an exterminator. <laughs> Remember, this is why I have mm -hmm. so many issues. <laughs> so yes, Lisa and Dina, I have zero discretion. Or I think people not are... dis discretion. I don't think is the right word. I have, I don't know, zero embarrassment or whatever. Okay. Please shoot him and move on. Here, is this better? Time limits should be. You didn't need. What? Come on, let's hear something. Ouch! 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 <laughs> it is published on the internet. Just have sex with the sheep. Yes, there you go. No! Leave the animals out of it. Ew! Ew! No, not bed bugs, Lisa. Lice is contact skin on skin. You no, have to. No. I think they jump. No. If I... you if you have lice and you go to a movie theater, okay. They will go from your head onto the chair because it's a fabric. Excuse me. That's, you know, if you are in school, it can go from contact to contact from, you know, child to child. But this is why buses and movie theaters always have lice in the chairs. Nice. And when there's <clears throat> the big breakouts, you know, it's because of that. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Anything that's porous, that's around. Time limit should be remembered for those of us with ADD. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's... Anthony did say, please shoot him and move on. What about vaginal lice? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, see, like, uh, lice jump. They jump, but they jump from person to person or person to uh, fabric. Wouldn't to fabric that be crabs? To... What's that? Wouldn't that be crabs? Uh, What, jumping? No, vaginal lice. Uh, yeah, kind of, I guess, right? Pretty much. Bed bugs are picked up in many places like movie theaters. See? Is that true? I just bed said bugs? that. You said, oh, I thought you said lice. Oh, bed bugs, yeah. You can get bed bugs from anything. Now, when you go. Okay. They hold, transfer hold, from. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If you go to a hotel or something, if you look like behind like the mirrors or pictures and you see any <clears> kind of little <throat> droppings around it or you see little clear bugs, you know, you want to lift up the mattress. Because you're going to be able to see them in there if they're in there. A lot of people don't check this stuff. I always check this stuff when I go someplace um, around the phone. Yeah, you can actually spot them. So just you have to watch and check. Anthony said the uh, soft shell crabs. They're good to eat. No. Yeah, I don't think these no. things are that kind of crabs there, brother. No. No seafood is good to eat in my book. That is correct. <laughs> in your book. Yes. I do not eat seafood at all. Does anyone have a tiny ass and you need to wipe? <laughs> Can you not make a mess here? Don't don't be unraveling this. I want to unravel Isn't that it. the cutest little roll of toilet paper you ever did see? Isn't it the cutest you ever did see? Look, it's like, uh, what do you call those things? Scarves? Oh, I broke a scarf. <laughs> God damn, this shit is Fucking cheap idiot. material. Uh huh. Woo okay. Um. Woo. Woo. What? <clears throat> what does he do? He throws it on the floor. Spanking time. Do you see? Do you see? Oh yeah, with butter is right. Yeah, baby. What? 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 Soft shell crabs. Lisa yeah. said with butter. Ugh. Yeah. So what was um. <clears throat> I fucking forget what the hell the other, uh, I said I was going to look that thing up. What is, oh, Ant, uh, Anthony said he did. The, uh, uh, pussy, what was it called? No, I now don't know. I'm buzz. Now I'm buzz. God damn it. Why don't you scroll up and look? Uh, let's see. I was a teenage, whoops. Come on, dude. All right. There, it reopened. Super duper. I was going to look something up. <clears throat> Okay, you do that. Whoa, whoa, oh, hey, what's this? What's this? Okay. 
kind of porn my, are my, you putting my on computer My thing now? is jumping around here. My screen. This it's, is it's bullshit because right it has here. an overload of porn on it from you. Uh, pocket pussy. That's what it is. Oh, right. That's what it was called. Uh-huh. Now, I want to know. And this okay. guy, he has a video. I want to watch it, this hold video. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, this pocket pussy. Now, what about, like... Women, all right, is this going to satisfy them as well? No. Well, there has to be some kind of pocket pussy thing for women who want I mean, a if booby. you want to... Uh... I'm just saying, there has to be something. Well, there... They have toys, but yeah. the women don't want a pocket pussy. They want a pocket penis. No, not if you're gay or lesbian or whatever. Maybe you want some kind of a pussy thing. Uh, Newsflash, gay or lesbian mean the same thing. If you're talking about I women. know, whatever. Okay. Anyway, but what if they want something? I mean, mm. that's kind of like there has to be something out there for women who want a little hmm. bajiji thing to play with. How to make your own lube with potatoes. Oh, my God. I will be reporting back. On that to everyone at some future time and uh, what was the other thing uh, I was why would link. you make lube for your penis out of potatoes can you there's I don't oh here's the thing with uh, lube and the potatoes so I'm gonna look at that later I'm gonna let everybody know what the fuck okay you say so <clears throat> Dildo silkies? Now, you know, I'm waiting for Scott to call in because he was going to talk talk about his um, dildo chucks. His, oh, yes, his dildo yes. chucks. Yes. A Anthony, she. What? Uh, uh oh. What? Lisa said, let's see all tiny cute things, Ed, when you're up. <laughs> Look. It may be tiny, but it's not cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. It may be cute, but it's not tiny. Really? See, I misspoke the first time. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so why don't you tell us about your junk? Then? Why don't you what, what exactly, answer what? Anthony's question? Why, why don't you like seafood? It had to do with your childhood and uh, tripe or something like that? or Tripe, the fish eyes, the smell of it the dolphin the her daddy the, made her eat some weird no, my grandparents ass. And, oh yeah it started I thought it was your dad. my dad like, he oh your dad ate right that's yeah. what it was no this but the seafood what was the seafood what my going fishing with my grandfather and then he got the barracuda put him in the oven or not the oven the freaking fryer no the bathtub and, really oh yeah and then he give just, it a bath no he just put him in there then nan would skin them or scale them or whatever the fuck she does and nice. she would actually boil the eyes and you would just see these things rolling around because they ate everything and then oh my god literally my sister and i were sitting at the table we have our dan and yogurt and we have this plate o fish shit and plate o fish shit that yes. sounds like a restaurant chain and the smell is disgusting and and we were told, well, you're not going to see your parents when they come up unless you eat that. I wouldn't eat it. I sat there. Uh, I would not eat it. And I don't like anything, nothing. Wow. With fish. No fish sticks, no tuna fish, no nothing, nothing with fish. Yeah, so she got fished out when she and was then a kid. <clears throat> my other grandfather was big on eel. So anything that comes out of the water doesn't go in this mouth. That's nasty, 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 vile and nasty. I will not eat it. No, just like I will not eat. John, uh, John Capelli here says he loves tripe. Whoa. Yeah. The smell of it. He's alone. Italian. He loves it. Yeah. I actually ate it. I didn't think it tasted bad. I actually thought it had no taste, but it was like chewing on rubber. It was literally like, you know, uh, smack, hit me in the eye. Oh, see, battery-operated uh, tongue. Yes, I'm, I'm yes. about to look that up. I did see. I was going to read that next. Uh, and, uh, yes, I think it was a Freudian slip there, uh, Lisa. 
when I refer to my penis as being small but not cute, I'm like, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. It's cute, just not small. Tiny. So, let's see. Tongue? Uh, I've already seen those. It looks like a tongue and it moves. Yeah. Yeah. Tongue for women. Oh, there we go. Electric tongue licking nipple. What? Nipple. Electric tongue licking nipple massager women's full. Well, I guess that's what. Electric. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a real good one. Oh, geez. It comes up with, uh, as like a uh, you also may like. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I'm, I'm hitting the link. There we go. Took three times. Electric sucking breast body massage with tongue licking nipple massager device. Mm -hmm. It is. It looks like a handheld razor, about the size of my electric razor, but it's got a hole. And inside, it's a little thing, I guess, that vibrates as a tongue. And there's a little sideways piece that I guess goes like this, which flicks the nipple as the thing literally sucks on your breast. Really? Ah, let's see. $21.42, free shipping or best offer. How about six bucks? Uh, that sounds used to me. And or order. best offer. I'm sorry, that sounds used to me. And I'm sorry, if that was on somebody else's body, no. No and no. 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 Uh, well, the seller is a 99.2% positive feedback. No. no. I wonder. No. 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 Uh, charge with USB, less than 70 decibels loud, uh, which is actually pretty loud. Hmm. It's six by six by 16 centimeters, whatever the hell that means. What the hell is this? Different, like, freaking, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so it basically licks and sucks your uh, breast. Isn't that special? Uh, so, yeah, you can find plenty of that shit. Uh, it might be time for a virus scan, uh, John, because the shit that I'm looking up. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lisa said... Uh, and you loved it because I watched you eat it. I said it wasn't bad. I didn't exactly. think she was ready to just heave. But and she said the smell of it. I'm like, I don't, there's not much of a smell. There, no, there's a rancid smell well, that comes said, from fucking tripe. Cooking it or yes. just after the fact? Cooking it. Okay, so I wasn't here when you cooked it. I had the pleasure of coming here and actually eating it. Ugh, it smells like someone opened up a barf bag. It's so vile. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. Dina, what they advertise? A uh, a nipple sucker? Is that what they did? Oh, Lisa wants one. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll tell you what, Lisa. Uh, for everybody's benefit, I will. <laughs> T-O-N-G-U-E. For women. Tongue for women. All right, I'm going to open this bitch up. Then I'm going to copy that. Uh, T -I -I -U -R -L dot. Yep, there we go. I'm going to put a little link on here. And everybody can enjoy the nipple liquor, even you guys. Come on, Anthony, buy one. Hey, a lot of guys like their nipples played with. I'm just saying. Uh, playing with them is different than... No, licking them, sucking them. Like, guys like it. I'm just saying. It's not like they don't feeling in their nipples. And there you go, folks. Don't say unusual radio doesn't help you out. <laughs> Uh, Dina says it does tell, smell horrible. Tripe is cochino. Tripe uh, is nasty. Hello, Julio. Hello, Julio. Let's see. Ed, I think it's time. Uh, what was this? Uh, there you go, Lisa. I, I sent you the link. I'm sure Adam and Eve had one. Has one. Oh, Adam. Oh, I oh, thought you were yeah. talking about the original like people, supposedly, yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, Edwin for tongue. Woohoo! Is that my new? Am I running for that? <laughs> if I am elected tongue, every woman will have an orgasm in the kitchen, and there'll be a chicken in every pot, or there'll be pot in every chicken. So when you cook your chicken, you'll get high too, which will let you eat all the chicken. Damn it! Okay. John Capelli says he loves his nickel uh, nickels. Oh my God, loves his nipples bitten. Say, uh, well, you know what? Ah, Lisa said I'll be right over, John. <laughs> okay, send the address. 
And I'll send uh, Tanya over there. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I like to fight. It okay. Is, it is what it is. Sorry. It's a fact. So I'm with you, Lisa. There you go. I was uh, grilling the other day. <laughs> You're such a fucking freak. <laughs> I can't put this on over a hat. Sorry. So I was grilling the other day in my wonderful Steelers Inc. And I tried the meat. <clears throat> and the meat was so good. I was so excited. I was like, whoa, baby. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that meat. Look, good. look, look. Wait, look. He needs a trim. Look at all his hair. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, but I'm also like 10 inches, so <laughs> I don't care. I don't think anybody's looking at that bush. <laughs> I think they're looking at the... Uh... My friend Brenda got this for me about four years ago. She bought it from a woman in Florida who hand makes them. And this lady is something like 68 years old. <laughs> hey, so what? Uh, Lisa, you've been booted. How do you, how would you take that if you've been booted? No, oh, this lady's great. I think that uh, I'm going to be a perverted see? old lady. You're going to be a what? Perverted old lady. What do you mean going to be? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dina, go Steelers. Did you see that fight the other night, Dina? That was fucking awesome. Uh, um, excuse me. Let me just say one thing. No, no, Lisa. 68 is not my age. My um, age is either six or eight. Excuse me. Let me just say something. You're still older. I'll always be older until by, I die. And by you, nine years. Until I die and catch up. By nine years. Let's, let's put that out there. You fucking old fart. You know what? This is all I forget. <laughs> What were we talking about? I don't remember. I think you need your Jaeger. You, Let me you, tell you something. When I, I why, why, don't you, why, don't you, why don't you go get your Jaeger or whatever the fuck it is that you're drinking and do one for Lisa? All right. Lisa, I'm going to do you for one. I mean, I'm going to do one for you. Can you see what I have to put up with? Yes. Oh, look, you have your Henry's. I do. You were you were out of drinking. I know. Gentry's. I hated to see you suffer. I know. It was so horrible. Yeah. So let me... Okay, so... Yes, see now, Lisa? I have him doing one more for you, but then after the show, I'll make him suffer through the housewives. Because that's what I do. I make him suffer as much as I can, as often as I can. Oh, is this, is this my little, here's my baby girl, my little Sadie. Yeah, my baby girl. Come here, come here, come, come, come here, come say hello. Come here. Oh, here comes Moto, Anthony. Here, here's Moto. Come here, look girls. Here's my girl. Come here. Here, Sally, come here. Watch him here. Say hello. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Come here. Come here. She holds it up. Sally, come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Come on, look. Say hello, Moto. Hello, Moto. Good girl. That's the piranha. Here's that good girl. All right, come on, let's go. Come and she's the vicious one. The other one is not so bad. So, uh, all right. Well, okay. Are you good now? What did you bring up? Oh, yeah, this. I'm going to do this. this yeah, you're going to do your shots. Now. Lisa, I hope you appreciate this because now I have to deal with this. Lisa like, said, yes, please do me. He's 
not going to shut up through my shell, and I'm going to have to hit him. Hmm. Hello, Moto. Nah. We're nobody's going to molest the dog. Okay. Wow, I fucking drank a lot of that the other night. <laughs> yes, you did. There were did. like six shots left, but I obviously <laughs> drank five. Hello. Hello, Moto. Now you bring your laser. Fucking idiot. You bring your laser. Ready? You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> uh -huh. I am back. Okay. Now, are you going to sing now? Now that you did your shot ski, can you sing? Gina man, Gina man, does whatever a Gina can. Spins a web. Any size. Any size. Up and down. Up and down. On your, on your thighs. Look out. Here come the giant of man. Okay. Okay, now you have to do. All right, folks. It's been great. It's been, it's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Um, Are you going to sing Unusual Radio? <coughs> oh, now it's time. Look at my little ass shake right there. I look hot. I'm attracted to me right now. Seeing that in the, in the thing, thing. Are you going to sing? Now it's time to say goodbye. To all our family, look at the last comment. Let's roll down. <laughs> U N U S U A L R A D I O. Oh, come on, be a pal. Unusual radio. Unusual radio. <laughs> Usual radio. Hello, Moto. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, well, you know, okay. you drink a whole bottle of this. In a month. Hey, I want to make it seem like I, you know, pounded it today. Okay. Anyway, again, everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, we will see you on Friday. Um, have a safe evening uh, and warm and have a safe day tomorrow. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Stay happy and light and free until we see you on Friday. So uh, until then, we're out. So thanks. Bye.